Uh, we're going to try something new. I've never done this before. Um, I have had a small company called Photofax that I started in uh, 1991, I believe. And uh, it's kind of gone off and on and off and on for years. I've revived this. It's called pfax2.com. You can go to the website and see all this stuff. Um, so these are pieces of equipment that I sell on consignment at 15%, which is a pretty good deal compared to what you get if you trade in to KEH or one of the other big uh, used equipment dealers in the country. So basically I have uh, a couple of things I've picked out of the stock that are for sale. So the first one is a 1DX Mark III. Uh, it has um, the correct battery and charger. Uh, it also comes with an Angelbird 512 gig card, which is worth a lot of money. Um, this is, uh, well, I'm gonna put the prices in the uh, description below. So if you're looking for this or know, have a friend that needs this, there you go. Next, I have a 1D Mark III, and this is a black dot version, so it does have the black dot where it's supposed to inside there, which means Canon fixed it because they originally had autofocus issues. This one comes with a charger, one battery, and a 32 gigabyte compact flash card. This is 400 bucks. So if you have a student, uh, somebody that works with you as an assistant, or somebody that's kind of, you know, in the Canon system. Um, and looking for a cheap way to get a second body or a first body to shoot sports, this is a great option. Uh, I also have a, um, just to round out the Canon stuff, I have a wireless file transmitter grip. This is WFT R10A, this is made for the R5. This allows seamless uh, file transfer to a computer while you're shooting. This can be useful for obviously somebody on deadline shooting sports, but really it's also great for studio. If you're using, if you're shooting with an art director and there's people that have to see what you're doing all the time, that's that's what this guy is. It's in mint condition. These are a thousand bucks new, and this is uh, I think 450, so less than half a half a price new. Um, this is going to be more appropriate for the people that have watched my channel. This is a Sony A9, what I call the A9 Classic. Uh, this one is well used, uh, but it's in good shape. Uh, it's got a lot of scratches and stuff on it. Uh, uh, but it is, the back screen is clear, there are no dead pixels, and um, the uh, sensor is clean. The camera shows a lot of wear, and that's why its price is $1,200 with the battery box and all the stuff that came in the box originally. So this is a pretty good deal. I have a, uh, a kit lens uh, for Sony full frame. This is a 28 to 60. Um, this is that kind of cool, it, it's really, really tiny, and then it, it gets bigger, but when you stow it, it gets like kind of close to a pancake. So it's a very, very nice. This lens is a, um, a four to 5.6. So it's a little on the slow side, but I'll tell you what it's what it makes up for being slow. It makes up for in sharpness. It's a very very good lens. It's an excellent lens for um, doing remote photography for, say, soccer. I have two additional items uh, that I just sort of made the snap decision to move. Um, I hate to part with this, but this is my 24. This is my own lens. This is my 24 2.8 compact prime with the with the stock uh, the hood the Sony hood, which is really well made. It's had a filter on it since I bought it. Uh, it's in perfect condition. There's not a scratch on it. The rear element is perfect. Um, I'm selling it primarily because I just didn't use it that much. And I believe that the new 24 to 50 G is going to kind of pay, take its place. Um, and then I also have something rather unusual that would be good for a budget birder. If you shoot, uh, this is not going to be good for birds in flight, but if you want to shoot birds in the nest, uh, if, you, if you're living someplace close to a rookery, this is a uh, Opteca mirror lens. It's a 500 millimeter f6.3. This is actually quite, um, quite fast for a mirror lens. And one of the things that people probably don't know about mirror lenses or catadioptric lenses is that they render nearly perfect color. Um, they don't have the issues of glass where you have to like coat it and all the stuff. So these mirror lenses are extremely accurate in color. Um, they're extremely sharp if you can get them in focus. <laughs> so this is a really good lens, again, for shooting on a nest. If you wanna shoot birds in flight, this is not your friend. But um, uh, again, this is attractively priced, I think. It has the Sony adapter already on it. 
and uh, comes with a rear cap just as you see it. I don't have a front cap for it, never got one, but everything optically is perfect on this lens as well. If you have something laying around that you're not using, you might consider sending it to me. I have to have it in possession for me to sell it for you. I can't do it with you sending me pictures. That's just not gonna work. If someone asks me a question, I have to be able to respond to what that is. Um, and again, you can look at all this information at pfax2.com, just how it sounds. And uh, maybe this video will never go anywhere, but hopefully uh, this is something that you'll send to someone else and say, hey, PMR's got this old 1D Mark III. Hey, you know, it needs a home. I actually have a couple of these, so if, you know, whatever. This is a really good deal. Um, if you're still interested in shooting a DSLR, this is, this is great. And uh, this might be a great around the neck camera for football with a 50 on it. That's what I use uh, one for. Uh, I'll stop talking. Thank you so much.